you know, each country is going to make their own uh, decisions. We don't send people out there saying go buy Russian oil. We send people out there saying go buy oil. Now, you buy the best oil you can in the market. Uh, you know, each country is going to make their own uh, decisions. Uh, but the one thing that we've been clear about uh, on Russia and uh, specifically Russian energy sales is uh, it's why we've been such a big advocate uh, for the oil price cap, because the what the price cap does is that it keeps uh, oil and energy flowing onto the market and uh, making sure that supply meets demands. But it also ensures that uh, Russia doesn't get a windfall of profits to fund its war machine. Uh, so uh, the We've never intended uh, for anybody to try and keep uh, energy off of the market. We don't send people out there saying go buy Russian oil. We send people out there saying go buy oil. Now, you buy the best oil you can in the market. Uh, so I, I, I don't think... Uh, uh, I would attach a political uh, messaging uh, to that. Uh, I would also... How, how do you not conflate the two? I mean, it, 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 I know the Indian-Russian relationship is strong, but you also have issues with China. How do you then sit back and define Indian foreign policy at this point where the West seems to be quite vociferous in trying to curtail funding for the war in Ukraine, whereas by purchasing this oil uh, for national interest, um, India is being asked, are you funding this war? So, look, uh, I, I mean, I don't want to sound argumentative, but then tell me buying Russian gas is not funding the war? I mean, why is it, it's only Indian money and uh, oil coming to India which funds, but it's not gas coming to Europe which funds? I mean, look, somewhere, I mean, let's, let's be a little even-handed out here.